Hi guys, this is Virendra from iDeserve. Today I am going to talk about dry data structure. Specifically, I am going to talk about insertion and search using the data structure. So, the try is very useful for designing efficient retrieval of data associated with keys. What I mean by that is, for example, if we have data like this key in the form of key value pairs, so ABC corresponds to 1, XY corresponds to 2, ABB corresponds to 9 and so on. So if we represent these in a uh, in try, this is how it will look like. Okay. So ABC is inserted here. ABC. Okay. XY is inserted here. XY. And the corresponding values are put at the end of that particular key. So for ABC, the key ends at C and we have the value for that at this point at c okay every node here will have uh, will have a variable initialized for that particular value if the key would have ended at a b we would have had well the value assigned here okay so I'll, I'll try to explain how the insertion happens in this particular data structure okay just stay with me for a couple of minutes so here let's try to understand what try is first in try in each node has n children okay what is n n is equal to the maximum length of the key okay any key in a try data structure that we are designing has length 5 okay and we'll also restrict the amount the, the type of letters we are using for the keys here so let's just say we are using keys consisting of letters from a to e so a b c d e that's all the letters that we are going to use for the keys in our try data structure okay so let's try to understand uh, what root element is in try so root element is nothing but it's it's just same or same as one of the nodes in a try okay so it will be a node with the key letter and a corresponding value and also it will have five children why because each letter can be followed by five other letters which are part of this set these particular cells corresponding to specific letters in the set for example 0 corresponds to a 1 corresponds to b 2 corresponds to c and so on okay and each of these nodes also have five children okay so each node is initialized with an array of node data structure initially they are empty array elements and later we fill fill, fill them with letters as as and when we encounter key letters okay we'll see how that happens so each node has this array of children nodes okay let's go ahead and try to understand how try insertion happens let's try to insert abc comma one so this is the root node which is empty okay root node will have five empty places where we can fill up the key letters so what is the first key letter a is the first key letter right so we initialize the first element of that array because that is the element which corresponds to a earlier this was empty right so we initialize it with this node a does it have any value as such no right a doesn't correspond to anything what happens when we initialize a it also has an array of empty node children right so what we are going to do next is we are going to look at the next letter in the key what is the next letter in the key b is it initialized anywhere here no right so we initialize it here and then do we see any value corresponding to a b no right there is no value corresponding to a b we have a value corresponding to a b c so what we are going to do next is we are going to initialize c which is the child of b okay so where does c lie so he lies on the second index of that array of children okay does abc have any value corresponding to it yes it does right so we populate the value here one so abc corresponds to one okay a doesn't correspond to any value b doesn't correspond to any value a b doesn't correspond to any value abc abc does okay so that's how we insert a key value pair again uh, c also has five other children okay so if there is another key 
saying A, B, C, D or A, B, C, A or A, B, C, B that gets inserted here below C. Okay, let's go ahead and try to insert another key value pair which is A, B, B comma 2. So let's start with the first element. First element is already inserted so we don't have to do anything. Second element B is also inserted we don't have to do anything. What about the third element B? Third element corresponds to the third level. Okay. So at the third level, do you have any child which is B for this particular B at the second level? We don't, we only have C here, right? So we have to initialize this node. We have to initialize, sorry, this node. We have to initialize it with B, okay? So we'll initialize it with B and we will put the value corresponding to ABB at this point too, okay? One thing to notice here is we are traversing three levels for ABC. We are traversing three levels for ABB. Okay. What does that tell you? It tells you the time complexity of try insertion. It will be at most order of n. What is n? n is the length of the string. Okay. So a try insertion time complexity is order of n. It's very efficient. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try to understand how the try search works. Let's try to search ABB. Okay. So we start with the first element. It's, it's similar to insertion. We are just retrieving the value corresponding to the end of the string. Okay. So let's try to search for ABB. Let's start with first letter A. We see that it's already there. So we go ahead and try to see if we find B at the second level of A. B is already present. What about the third level? It's also there, right? So we return the value corresponding to this B, which is 2. Let's try to find ABD. So we start with A. A is already there. We'll start, uh, we look for B. B is also there. What about D? Is there D at the third level of B? No, D is not present here, right? So we return null in this case. We are not able to find that particular key in the try, right? So here also we have time complexity of order of n, which is where n is equal to the length of the string. So th that's all about the try section. Please check out the code and the article about it. There is also visualization to help you understand better. Okay. So the here is the link of uh, that particular article at www.idesop.co.in. Please stay tuned. We are putting more and more videos on the channel. Please check out those videos. Please check out the articles and let us know your feedback. There is one more thing you can do. You can also contribute your articles on our website. To do so, please email us at ideserve.co.in at gmail.com. Thank you so much.